Yo, what's up? It's your favorite Samoan barkeep here, and we are here to wish you a happy 4th of July. So to celebrate the holiday, one of my favorite holidays of the year, we're going to do a blind tasting of all of the E.H. Taylor expressions. So we're going to check out these four and see which one comes out on top. samples poured they're all mixed up I don't know which one is which so I've tried the small batch the straight rye and then this little tiny little barrel proof I'm using the last of my sample but this is gonna be a fresh crack of the E.H. Taylor single barrel so I have not tried this yet this will be the very first time so before we jump into the uh, blind tasting here don't forget to hit that like button hit that subscribe button you know how much it helps the channel out. So we hit our 500 subscriber mark. So I'm trying to figure out what's gonna be the best way to do our giveaway, whether I'm gonna do a live stream or come up with some other solution. So I didn't forget about it, don't worry. We're gonna still do that. I just gotta figure out what's gonna be the best way to do it. So stay tuned for that giveaway coming soon. <clears throat> Excuse me, coming soon. Uh, hit me in the comments, which one of these E.H. Taylor bottles is your favorite? And then also, if you know where I can find a bottle of this barrel proof, because I got about a, a half an ounce left, so I definitely need a replacement for that. But cheers to uh, Bentley Pasco. He hooked me up with the uh, sample of the E.H. Taylor barrel proof. If you want to learn about aquariums and fish tanks, look up his channel. It's amazing. All right, let's dive into these blinds. All right, so we're gonna start here on the right. Mm. If I had to guess off the nose, I would say this is the rye, but you know, I'm terrible at guessing off the nose and the palate, so let's just taste it. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna say that's the rye. Lots of uh, spice, baking spice. Get that very right forward. So very good. I'm a big fan of the E.H. Taylor straight rye. Let's get into this second one. All right, so this one you get a little bit more fruitiness. So I'm definitely going back to thinking that one's the rye. That's about it on this one. All right, let's try it out. All right, so if I had to guess, I'm saying this is the small batch. So very sweet, touch that berry fruitiness. Yeah, caramel, vanilla. Yeah, so between the two of these, I'm liking that one better. So this one gives more heat more spice so if you're in the mood for what I'm guessing is the rye it's very good but this one is just like I can just sip this all day it's so just tasty sweet caramel vanilla bomb all right well let me get a little bit of water and we'll move on to the next one So on to blind number three. Hmm. All right, so if I had to guess, I would say this one off the nose is probably the single barrel just because I don't recognize the nose. So this is the, the single barrel, the only one I have not tried yet. So not a whole lot on the nose of that one. It's kind of muted. Let's try it out. So this one, a lot of berry. Not as sweet as the 
this one here, which I thought was the small batch. This one feels hotter, a little bit hotter. I'm thinking all these are bottled and bond except for the barrel proof, right? Yeah, so they're all 100 proof. They're all bottled and bond. This one I'm getting a little bit more heat and it's really lasting. So I'm thinking this might be the barrel proof. Yeah, so this one, berry, uh, caramel, and then much more heat. And then you get that long, long finish. Like this one is still going compared to these other ones. So I'm gonna say that one so far is my favorite. All right, last one. Oh my word, this one is just fruitiness slamming you right in the face. Let's try it out. All right, so this one doesn't taste familiar, so I'm gonna guess that this one is the single barrel. Yeah, these E.H. Taylors are just, oh, so crushable. You could just drink these all day, which I'm probably gonna end up doing today on the 4th of July, just taking one of these bottles and just probably doing a bottle kill on it. It is just so easy to drink. Just right up my alley as far as uh, bourbons go. These two here, which I think were the single barrel and the small batch. Small batch, I get a lot more sweetness. Single barrel, or single barrel, I'm getting a lot more of the fruitiness. I mean, if I'm ranking these, I think I'm gonna put that one in second, that one in third, and then that one in fourth. All right, well, let's see how terrible I did and do the reveal, so. The one I had in fourth place, oh, banging. I don't know how we're gonna be able to see that, but it's the rye. So, straight rye coming in last place right there. So third place, I guess this was the single barrel. Let's see, single barrel, S-I-B. I don't know if you can see that on the camera there, but there it is, S-I-B. So like I said, the single barrel, if, you, if you're into that fruitiness more than the sweetness, then you're gonna definitely gonna love that single barrel because it's very cherry forward. So, I mean, if this is the barrel proof, then I'm just terrible at tasting. So let's see, small batch, let's go. I might as well be on the freaking tasting championship right here, man. I got all four of these right off the go. So a small batch, and that means number one, that's gonna be the barrel proof. So, boom, there's that little baby barrel proof. We'll put it up here so you can see it. So definitely, let me know if you got an extra barrel proof sitting around. I definitely need to get one to finish my vertical of the E.H. Taylors. Or, you know, if you got an extra warehouse C or seasoned wood or cured oak, you know, 18 year marriage, amaranth, grain of the gods, four grain, whichever other ones I'm forgetting about, you know, shoot them my way. Your favorite Simone barkeep, he needs to rank these. Because this E.H. Taylor stuff is my favorite. I love this we got to swear on here? Shit, I love this shit, man. Thank you very much for watching the E.H. Taylor, Taylor Tuesday, 4th of July extravaganza. I appreciate your support. And definitely go pick up some of these because they are freaking delicious. As always, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Cheers. Oh man, that barrel proof.